the holder of motion. Seeker, turn around right now, if you do not have at least the torch of truth embedded firm and deep behind your eyes. This is the reason it lies dormant if you have initially collected it. The objects seek their companions, and they will stop at nothing to reunite. By now, dear Seeker, you will realize that you are one of many suspected to be him. You have been chased across continents, visited halfway houses, entered realms never meant to be seen by human eyes, and undergone transformations that have rendered you completely unrecognizable to your former life. The fact that you didn't expect it makes no difference to the holders. You were chosen for this long before you even knew you existed as a glimmer in your parents' eye. You have been confused about whether or not the objects belong together. Some are telling you not to, and some are urging you to. You know that destroying them all, in a sense, brings them together. So that's out of the question. You will need to take several objects with you for this. No, however that failing this task means that every object you bring will fall into the hands of those who mean to bring them together. So these words must be heeded to the highest of your priority. First of all, a shield will help tremendously. Take it along. Bonus if it has an emblem on it. Many of the objects are weapons. I leave your choice of weapon up to you. Bring a sword, a dagger, a gun, or perhaps something else entirely. The delete key is particularly effective, though it has been known to fail to delete something entirely. Other charms of protection may do you some good. A cloak or a mask would come in handy. If you possess some of the darker, more evil objects, take them along. Some freezing chains, any diseases you may have contracted, or keys and locks as fingers that you may have, will do wonders for how difficult or easy this task will be for you. Possessing genitalia, or even a body that doesn't belong to you, will possibly determine whether or not you survive. Objects that possess other functions, such as mirrors, clocks, lighters, tuning forks, marbles, or burning cross shards will be of great help. If you're sitting on a throne, this is one of many times you must address your legion. Bring your objects close by and go to what can pass for a safe place. If you have a deadly pet, ask her to come along. You will need her to fight off those who are chasing you. When you are as prepared as you can be, close your eyes and focus on the torch of truth's handle, buried deep in your subconscious mind. Tell it that you are prepared to visit the Holder of Motion. If it ignites, do not rejoice. Keep your emotions firm and steady. For if you feel joy at meeting this Holder, the torch within you will burn your body to dust, and all your preparation will have been for naught. Open your eyes. You will be in a burlap bag being carried to a place you don't know. Do not struggle to escape, lest you annoy the ones carrying you. Most of your objects are safe on your person, so don't worry. Your pet did what she could, but there is every likelihood that these people killed her. If they didn't, she will be unconscious and in the bag with you. But don't count on it. 
When the bag is dropped and opens, you will be in a wooden shack. The instant you see the bag open, leap out of it, brandishing your shield and any weapons you brought along. Do not allow yourself to look at these creatures for even a second. You do not want to transform into one of them just by gazing upon their forms. Waste every creature you see. Slice it to pieces. Delete it. Shoot it. Do whatever you can to make sure these creatures do not survive your wrath. They can be stunned by the vibrations of the tuning fork. Your pet will hear the commotion and wake up. So if she comes to your side to help you fight, consider yourself lucky. There will be thousands, perhaps millions, and even then, more will still come. A tiny portion of the true legion has been alerted to your presence. The numbers that you must fight are but a pawn on the chessboard. After an eternity of fighting, a young girl will scream. If you have the tuning fork, you will note that it will vibrate in resonance with her voice. Do not look at it while this happens. Before you know it, she will be in front of you. Crying, she will ask you, Why do you collect them? And you must answer, Because you need me to. She will scream out in pain as her heart explodes. Do not look away from this, because that will resurrect every creature you have killed on your way to visit the holder. There will be a ladder rung protruding from the cavity in her chest. Take it. The rung is object 530 or 538. Do not look for the ladder unless you are bringing them together.